Hello, my name is Laura Carey Gupta and I am a senior project geologist at Sequent. Let's take a look at the block modeling improvements you can expect to see in the newest release of LeapFrog 2023.1. This version continues to deliver improvements to take your workflows to the next level. The focus of this release has been centered around improved block model handling, better 2D communication tools with section enhancements, and increased surfacing flexibility. In LeapFrog 2023.1, we have made several enhancements to block models. Firstly, to simplify the workflow of capturing the proportions of blocks inside a closed volume, and to add the ability to capture the proportions of blocks outside of closed volumes, we've created a new streamlined workflow to the Edit Block Model window. To continue to improve the flexibility and accuracy of reporting block model statistics, we've also added the ability to weight the results by an additional column in the block model, such as proportions. Additionally, the interrogate estimator tool for block models is now enabled on combined estimators for more efficient processing times, and the points used to estimate any particular block can now be sized by their estimation weights in the 3D scene. These three enhancements require the edge extension and are designed to provide performance benefits to improve interoperability and unlock greater flexibility for more advanced workflows. Further block model handling enhancements can also be discovered within LeapFrog Geo and Geothermal. These include the new block model wizard, the ability to import arbitrary block models, and to include open surfaces in grouped meshes. You can also check out our other videos to learn more about the other exciting features you'll find in LeapFrog 2023.1. We'll now jump into the software and take a look at these three block modeling improvements in action. Let's start with the new workflow for stored proportions inside or outside volumes. Proportions stored on block models will better represent the geometry of volumes in a model and will provide greater precision to reported volumes. In this first phase of development, stored proportions allow for a closed mesh to be selected from within the LeapFrog project. It will calculate as a stored additional column on the block model, the percentage of each block model either inside or outside of the closed mesh. Stored proportions is accessed directly via the block model and will dynamically update as the block model or input mesh is updated. Stored proportions can be visualized in the 3D scene or used within the block model statistics, calculations, and other downstream workflows. In this example, we have a dike in a geological model, and the proportions of the blocks that fall within the barren dikes has been captured with this workflow. This can be useful for capturing planned internal dilution in an operational setting. It could be equally applied for metallurgical domains where perhaps only a certain threshold of a particular metallurgical domain may be included in the block for it to still be considered as ore. For open pit mining scenarios, this feature may be also used to code the proportions of a block that fall below the topographic surface and inform pre-strip economics. Note that at this time, Open surfaces may not be used directly with this feature, so the topographic surface would need to be converted to a closed volume of rock below topography using a geological model. Up next is our second feature, which is to add proportional weighting to block model statistical reports, including the table of statistics, box plots, grade tonnage curves, and resource reports. Users can now select additional weighting attributes for statistics, such as metallurgical and mining recoveries, or utilize statistics on block models that include proportions as an alternative to sub-blocking. It is important to note that this does not provide a full proportional model type workflow. With evaluations, proportions interact based on centroids of the minimum sub-block size and categorize inside versus outside at the minimum sub-block size. Proportions, on the other hand, are stored for any block which touches a wireframe, so anything greater than 0%. For this reason, users are cautioned to make these important considerations around how models need to be populated in order to make full use of proportions for volumetric weighting. Similarly, users are cautioned not to use the additional weighting of the stored proportions in conjunction with a volume filter, as it could lead to double counting and incorrect reported results. At the moment, when a user selects proportion of block and has an additional weighting applied, it will trigger a warning to say that the block model calculations may not be accurate and that the user should really pick one or the other for resource reporting. It always remains good practice in block modeling workflows to check and ensure that the volume stated in the resource report when using a cutoff grade of zero 
matches the volume of the solid being used for reporting. Up next is our third feature. The Block Interrogation tool has now been enabled on Combined Estimators. The Interrogation tool provides a powerful method for assessing the neighborhood choices of an estimator. Previously, this tool was only available on individual domain estimators, meaning that estimators needed to be evaluated onto a block model in order to perform the neighborhood analysis. We have now extended the capabilities so that the block interrogation can be invoked directly from combined estimators. Querying a block will open an interrogation window for the estimator that informs that particular block. By eliminating the necessity to evaluate individual estimators that are inputs to combined estimator, the amount of evaluation time required is significantly reduced, as is the size of the resultant block models. Additionally, the block interrogation has been extended to also include nearest neighbor estimates. To further enhance the block interrogation experience, it is now possible to scale the size of points in forming a block estimate by the Krieging or inverse distance weight assigned to those points. This provides a visual indication in the 3D scene of the strength and influence of the points in defining the estimate of a specific block. This new feature will be particularly useful for block model validation workflows as they will provide a greater understanding of the estimation results on a very local scale. LeapFrog 2023.1 is available to download now from mysequent.com. Download the latest version today to enhance your block modeling workflows.